Hi everyone. This video is on how traders with small capital can make consistent profits and grow their capital from options trading. Let's grow together from small capital account to next level using options strategies. We all know it is tough to make money from stock market and it gets way more difficult for traders with low capital. By low capital I mean 2 lakh to 5 lakh rupees generations of traders are brought to markets and are washed away in a very short period this is mainly because they don't have tools process knowledge discipline and psychology to grow their capital through this video our goal is to equip retail traders with the necessary tools and process to empower you in becoming a successful professional trader so that you can make consistent profits and gradually grow your capital and move to next level in a few minutes we will move on to the trading software options analysis software back testing software and excel sheet so that we can share few great strategies for small capital accounts we will simulate returns back test the strategies and draw the projections for feasible growth of your capital and also understand how to manage these strategies before expiry we will also share a few expiry date specific trade setups especially for small accounts holder first of all i want to specify that this video is specially for traders who have minimum trading capital in the range of 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs because in case you have less than this it would be impossible to implement proper options strategies due to the recent changes in sebi's margin rules secondly you need to remember that options already give leveraged returns so all you need is a discounted broker with a good trading platform and low brokerage no need to find the one that gives you extra leverage since with this you are adding unnecessary risk to your portfolio with this let's straight jump into these pointers one important point to consider here is that unlike the large players you have to restrict your position sizing and risk management for example if your trading capital is rupees 2 lakhs and there is some options strategy that needs you to take rupees 40000 of risk This means that it can decrease your capital by 20%. If the maximum loss potential is hit, and we all understand that if your capital goes down by 20%, then you need to make profits of 25% just to come back to your base level itself. So, where large players risk 1 to 2% of their capital on single trade, It's tough for a small trader to find a good trade by risking 1 to 2% capital. Because firstly creating a strategy with rupees 2000 or 4000 risk is tough. And secondly, it also reduces the profit margins immensely. Also, we all want that one big profit trade that can take our capital to next level from where we can manage our account professionally or, or take professional help this urge is even higher for small trading capital account holders so what we need instead is that in our initial trades we have to use more capital per trade to generate small profits trade those strategies where loss possibilities are as low as possible and even if you go wrong you don't wait to exit only when maximum loss potential gets hit for that trade instead you just press the exit button and save as much capital as possible secondly an important point here is number of positions small traders should trade in one or two positions at a time with high focus Initially it is important to get in control of your positions a good beginning leads to a good ending next important thing is trade management as you are using big portion of your small capital in initial trade you need to work hard to make sure that trade never hits maximum loss potential you need to know beforehand that when will you exit this trade both in profit or loss 
This we will better understand later with examples where we adjust our positions to reduce risk and increase returns. Lastly, you need to keep a record of your every trade. Maintain a trading journal with trade details like capital employed, margin of profits, maximum profit and loss potential, reason of executing a trade and if you have followed your rules or not. Yes, this is important as well. Trust me. This is your actual trading partner. This brings us to our next point. What products you need to trade? It's advisable to trade Nifty initially, specifically monthly expiry. Then once you make some money, you can then include weekly Nifty and bank Nifty in your trading kitty. Since you know these indices have good trading volumes and have low spreads, therefore you won't lose due to slippages as well. Unlike stocks, indices are less risky and less volatile. Once you have good amount of accumulated profits and few months of trading experience in these strategies, gradually you can start trading in stock options. You should be aware of this fact then that that when trading in stock options, you are being company specific. This increases your risk. But always remember here as well never go for small high volatile stocks as they can blow off your account easily This point is actually tricky but seems super simple Traders take time to identify their trading style and setup Intraday trading of course could give you good adrenaline rush but it won't give you much time to rectify your mistake And once you are stuck in losing trade initially, it's hard to come back. We all know that. So I would advise to start with positional trades and look for trades with monthly expiry, and avoid creating new trades close to expiry dates. Once you understand when to enter and exit, then you can move to intraday trading. Trust me, as buying the right stock can create wealth for you. Example on screen you can see Mr Junjunwala making most of his wealth from Titan share both intraday and positional trading have the potential to generate great returns for you and increase your capital Coming towards the next point what research you should do before initiating a trade Actually you can maintain a small checklist in your initial days along with your trading journal For your checklist part, although it depends on your trading style, yet this can just be a value addition in your trading. It may include following: basic check on global markets. How U.S. markets closed yesterday? How are U.S. and European futures trading right now? Where are the emerging markets right now? Where is SGX Nifty? How is dollar index doing? What is happening in other asset classes like gold, cryptos, metal, etc., etc.? Maintaining a clean watch list, avoiding unnecessary items on your trading screen. It only creates confusion and wrong trades. Major support and resistance levels. You should at least be aware of major supports and resistance on monthly and daily time frames. Your conviction level. How much you are convinced of particular direction? Define a range for your conviction level. Let's say seventy to eighty percent, or twenty to thirty percent, etc. And based on that, decide the strategy to be implemented and amount of risk to be taken. Strike prices you want to trade. Choosing the right strike price is crucial. Avoid always avoid buying OTM options and selling ITM options. On the trading journal part, at least in your initial days. Before you initiate your trades, write it in your Excel. It may include details like capital employed, margin of profits, maximum profit and loss potential. Reason for executing that trade. And if you have followed your rules or not, etc. Let me know in comment column down below if you want me to prepare a video on trading journal. Now comes the best part that many of you would have waited for. best options trading strategies for beginners or traders with small capital firstly one size does not fit all but following strategies that are tried and tested by many successful traders including me 
and then they have helped me in growing initial trading capital and get confidence in the markets so let's directly jump into it based on your checklist you build up a view which can be directional or non directional or, or maybe you're not sure if it is directional then things are simple check out our video on cheat sheet of options trading choose as per your risk appetite and implement the strategy setup that we shared there i won't repeat myself here as you can check it out through the link on the right corner of the screen or through the link in the description box of course how we grow our capital by using the modified version of those strategies will come in the later part of this video but in case you are new to the market or not sure about the market trend then we would suggest to start with directionally neutral strategy few of these strategies you would have heard are short iron butterfly or short iron condor but we what we will share have much higher potential and proven track record okay 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 don't get carried away by name we will explain this strategy simply here as you can see on the screen in short iron butterfly you trade in both calls and puts you short atm call and put and buy otm call and put and to make sure that you remain unaffected with the market moves you make sure the delta of the strategy is close to zero similarly for short iron condor you short slightly otm calls and puts and buy calls and puts further out the money payoff charts are on the screen for both the strategies and you can see the break even prices and maximum profit loss potential you can easily notice that risk and profit both are slightly lesser in short iron condor strategy we will shortly go to the back testing software and compare the returns but what i'm going to share with you is a slightly advanced version of short iron condor which you won't find in textbooks as far as best to my knowledge so now let's learn the strategy first with a setup understand the margin requirements risk and reward and basic payoff chart and then enjoy the back testing returns of the same firstly i have brought to you my to my trading platform uh, here we will see all these three strategies and the margin requirement for simplification purpose i have supposed 15650 as the add the money option as it is closest to current nifty later we will see the payoff charts break even prices and other details of these strategies and then we will do the back testing to save time i have already created the strategies in my basket trading firstly let's see the short iron butterfly strategy also known as short iron fly strategy what i do in practice is i execute the buying options first and then the selling options doing this i enjoy the margin benefits of hedging currently i have created these strategies for the expiry date which is 9 days away i have placed a purchased order of for 15950 call and 15350 put 10 lots each at the same time i have placed a selling order for 15650 call and 15650 put 10 lots each again as you can clearly see the margin requirement is 3.6 lakhs now let's see the iron condor strategy for the iron condor purchase order is at the same strike price of 15950 call and 15350 put 10 lots each but here the selling order is currently two strikes otm from the current levels that is 15750 call and 15550 put here the margin requirement is slightly less that is 3.53 lakhs now uh, let's go to my strategy i don't have a name for this it's a modified version of short iron condor for now i will say it as my strategy okay so here if you see i have purchased same strike prices of 15950 call and 15350 put again 
same 10 lots each but what i have shorted here is 15750 call and 15750 put which is like two strikes away from current levels here the margin requirement is slightly higher that is uh, it's 4 lakh rupees Now let's analyze these three strategies. To save time, I've already created these three strategies. So let's check out short iron butterfly first. Okay, now if you see the payoff chart for short iron butterfly, it clearly shows that both of your profit and loss are limited. If you look at the margin requirement, it is 3.6 lakh. What specifically you need to note down is the break even part. Here the break even is 15,471 on the lower side and 15,828 on the upper side. Your maximum profit potential is 89,000 and maximum loss potential is 60,000. Your reward to risk ratio is 1.5. Now let's go to the short iron condor. If you see, here your risk is lower. That means you have better break events. That is, 15,543 on lower side and 15,846 on the upper side. Here your margin requirement has also gone down. That is 3.51 lakh. Yes, your profit and loss potential, they have gone down as well. Your maximum profit could be 48,000 and maximum loss could be 52,000. Reward to risk ratio is 0.93. Now let's go to my strategy. Okay, now if you see, here the margin requirement is close to 4 lakhs but your break even is 15,554 on lower side and 15,945 on the upper side. Here your maximum profit potential is close to 98,000 and maximum loss is close to 1 lakh. Reward to risk ratio is 0.96. This is the payoff chart for my strategy. You must be thinking that how can a strategy how can a strategy be fruitful if the reward risk is low? Patience, fellas. In next few minutes, I will show you the back testing of this strategy, and you will come to know how superior this is this strategy compared to the other two non-directional strategies. Uh, here comes the most awaited part: the back testing. Here I'm using one web application to do the back testing. Also, I'm doing this back testing on weekly expiry basis to have more number of trades. Same can be executed for monthly series if need be. To test on different time frames, uh, I've chosen one year from now, then roughly 18 months from January 2020 to discount COVID crash, and then two years and three years from now. These results will give you a reliable picture on how my strategy is way better than the other two. You should definitely write down the above mentioned timelines and returns of all these strategies. For better understanding, also write the strike rate. So uh, let's analyze uh, short butterfly strategy first. I'm starting with same uh, 10 lots here. Uh, Here zero represents ATM strike price, uh, which in our case is 15,650 and plus and minus shows higher and lower strike price. Here I shorted 10 lots at the money puts. Uh, now I'm shorting the same uh, 10 lots at the money calls. And then and then I'm buying same 10 lots call, 6 pri strike prices OTM. That is 15,950 and then buying 10 lots put, 6 strikes OTM. That is 15,350 levels. I'm testing this on weekly basis. I will be initiating this trade on 6 days prior to expiry and exit will be on the expiry day to avoid confusions i'm not taking i'm not talking about uh, stop loss and targets also to understand this better i'm not doing any adjustment trades 
I will enter and exit as per the initial setup in all the three strategies on a weekly basis and book profit or loss accordingly. Let the backtesting begin. It's taking time, <laughs> some time, yeah, as it is computing data for last three years. Uh, here it comes. Great. Now we have the numbers. You must make a note of a few things here. You can see the profit factor here is 1.24. That is uh, gross profit divided by gross loss. Uh, in last three years, if you had executed this strategy on a weekly basis, you must have generated a profit of 5,25,000 rupees. Your total number of trades had been 116, win trades had been 62, and you had made loss in 54 trades. Your maximum win size was 1 lakh, and maximum loss in a week was roughly 93,000. This would have been your return on the chart. You can easily see the movement of your returns. Of course, it had been a volatile situation, but at the end of the tenure, you have a profit of 5,25,000 on a margin of 3,60,000. Now, let's see what has happened in the last two years. Let's backtest. Uh, backtesting takes time as it is working on data intake and that is tremendous. Okay, uh, here we have the results. Now you can notice that in last two years, if you had executed this strategy consistently on weekly basis, initially your losses had been of 92,000 in week one. Uh, again. Uh, the movement was volatile of course good weeks followed by bad weeks followed by good weeks again <laughs> uh, initially till February 2020 you had been in loss only but after that you moved to profits you would have made profits of 2,93,875 till now your total number of trades had been 94, win count were 48, and loss trades were 46. Your maximum profit in a week was 1 lakh and a maximum loss of 92,000. Now let's check this out in 18 months time frame as discussed. So let's back test this again. It's actually more than 18 months now. Here are the numbers. If you had initiated this strategy on 1st January 2020, um, initially you had been negative, then later your overall profits would be 3.89 lakhs. Mind that you would have made this 3.89 lakh profits on a capital of 3.6 lakhs. That is close to double your money in one year without any adjustments and that is great your total number of trades had been 71 win trades 36 and loss trades 35 the profit factor is 1.3 now let's see what have happened if you executed this strategy in last one year time frame let's back test again Uh, here we have the results. So in last one year, you would have made profits of 84,000 on the capital of 3.6 lakhs. Here your win trades and loss trades are both 23. Your strike rate is 50-50. So this was about the short butterfly strategy. Now we will backtest short iron condor. So now we are testing our second strategy, that is short iron condor. Just to save time, I've, I've, I've already placed the number over here, same 10 lots each. I have shorted 2 strikes OTM calls and 2 strikes OTM puts. I have hashed the calls by 6 strikes OTM calls and 6 strikes OTM puts. As usual, I'm trading in weekly trades initiating six days before expiry 
and the exit day will be zero on the expiry day. Firstly, I'm back testing for last three years. Need to wait for a few moments for calculations. It's taking some time to calculate. Need to wait more. Okay, here are the results. In last three years, this strategy would have given me profits of 4,28,000, which is slightly lower than that of short iron butterfly. Here, the strike rate of trades is 59% and profit factor is 1.24. The maximum profit in a week was for 80,000 rupees and maximum loss was 80,000. The good part is that overall losses won't be too much. On the upside, I would have made profits of close to 5.5 lakhs on my best day. So now let's check this out for two years. <sighs> Waiting... So here are the results. In last two years, same strategy would have given me profits of 2.52 lakhs. Here the strike rate is 56% and profit factor is 1.16. As I requested you earlier, please make note of these things so that you have a better understanding. Here if you see, my total number of trades are 94. Win count is 53 and losing count is 41. Now let's check out how this would have performed if I had executed this just before COVID crash in Jan 2020. The return should be slightly higher. Okay, here are the results. Here I would have made 4 lakhs profit which is slightly more than short iron butterfly as there I would have made profit close to 3.81 lakhs. Here my strike rate is 56%. And my profit factor is 1.37. Here my maximum profit in one week would have been 80,000 compared to the maximum loss of 59,000. This already discounts both COVID, COVID crash, lower circuit and the follow-up rally. Now let's see what would have happened in last one year. Hmm. In last one year, I would have made 1.54 lakhs, which is close to two times as that I had made in short iron butterfly. Here my strike rate is 57% and profit factor is 1.21. Good. Now let's go to my strategy. Now is the time for my strategy. Again, to save time, I have already placed the strategy in the same order as we discussed earlier. I'm selling both call and put for two strikes higher and hedging with six strikes OTM calls and six strikes OTM puts for same 10 lots. I'm trading on the same weekly basis, same execution. I enter six days before the expiry and exit the strategy on the expiry day. Backtesting begins now. I will firstly test one year, then 18 months, then two, and at last three years. So let's see how this strategy performs. Okay, here you can notice the difference. In last one year, I would have been in profits of 8.32 lakhs. Oof. That is way more than what Short Iron Fly and Short Iron Condor could have given. Here the profit factor is 2 and the strike price is 72%. Great, right? Just, just hold on your excitement. Let's backtest it for 18 months. Just before the COVID crash. Let's see. Ooh, now I would have been in profits of 12.21 lakhs. My strike rate would have been 70% and my profit factor would be 1.96, which is slightly less than two. If you have noticed, 
this is close to three times the profit that one can make using simply iron condor strategy now let's see what would have happened in last two years waiting 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 now in last two years this strategy would have given me some losses initially followed by this huge rally overall in last two years i would have made profits close to 11 lakhs my strike rate had been 66 percent and my profit factor 1.58 Now, if you remember that short iron butterfly was giving me close to 3 lakhs profit in 2 years and short iron condor was giving me profits close to 2.52 lakhs in 2 years. This is giving me close to 4 times returns. Now, let's check this out for the last 3 years. I know you have a question that why we are checking just last three years. The reason is this is the maximum possible duration for this software. <laughs> so here is the last three year return. In last three years, we never saw the negative side. Just once it went flattish, but just once. Now, if you would have implemented this strategy on a weekly basis, which is initiate six days before the expiry and exit on expiry day, and followed this process without any adjustments for last three years, your capital would have become almost four times. As in this strategy, the margin requirement is close to four lakhs, and you are sitting on profits of 14.15 lakhs. Here the strike rate is 68% and profit factor is 1.64. Both are much higher as compared to other two strategies. Here maximum win trade would have been close to 95,000 and maximum loss would have been 1.3 lakhs. But you need to understand that in last three years you would have seen COVID crash mid small cap take in the beating auto sector under pressure and whatnot so many such things happened in last three years but still with this strategy you had been sitting on profits of 14.15 lakhs this is what we call great now uh, you must be having lots of questions like how this strategy is giving much better returns how and when to execute this trade when to exit do we need to make any adjustment trades and can we increase the profits further etc 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 for all these questions you need to wait for the next part of this video this was just one example of some powerful strategies that typically are hidden from general traders we have to keep this video duration in control that's why we would like to continue that in next part in next part i will answer all those questions share and implement one more strategy i will do some back testing and share the results of the same we will calculate how you could have performed in different market scenarios we will understand few basic trends and how your capital would have grown in that scenario with this we will end the video here. If you liked this info, I would appreciate if you share and like this video. Subscribe to our channel and boost our morale with some great comments. Thanks and happy learning.